What's up everybody? This is my first time making a video with my new iPhone 13. Uh, I had an 11 Pro Max before and I think that was a little better, but hopefully this one's okay too. I wanted to film videos like this every Tuesday because Tuesday's my day off, but I've had to go in a lot on Tuesdays and you'll have to ignore that. Uh, sorry. <laughs> That's toast. Uh, anyway, I want to talk about title jumping today, what it is and how to avoid it. So really quick, just to get into what it is, I drew a super helpful diagram right here. Typically, when you sell a car, first person who has it will call person A. Person A sells it to person B. Great. Person B signs the title. DMV sends them a new title. Now they have a new title. Person B sells it to person C. Person C signs the title, and then they do the same thing. What title jumping is, is when person A sells it to person B. Person B decides, ah, I don't really want to pay all that sales tax. I'm just going to sell it to person C. We jump over like so and forget about all this and so what this does is means that person b does not have to pay sales tax on the car they don't have to pay the registration fees they don't have to pay the license fees and the fees for the new title saves them some money where the problem comes in is first of all this is illegal in all 50 states i live in texas it's a felony in texas uh, but the actual practical problem here is for person c what I've got right here is the title to a car that I just got back from the DMV because I just registered it a little over a month ago. I've got the title number blurred out in case any of y'all are creeps and want to see my title, uh, although I'm not really sure there's a whole lot you can do with that. So right here, name of purchaser. That's where, if I was buying a car from a private party, I would sign, put my address, all that information. We'd get the odometer, signature of seller. Uh, obviously, that's the person who's selling the car. So... When you are the buyer of a private party car, if that signature right there does not match the name of the owner on the front of the title, then you will not be able to register it at the tax office when you go to do it. They will not let you because it's been title jumped on. The signatures are going to have to match. So what you need to do before you do any signing is make sure that the person's driver's license who is selling you the car matches the name on the other side of this title here. Otherwise, it's going to be a giant hassle. Uh, what this means is you're probably going to have to get a title bond and then go to the bonded title route, which is not fun for anybody. Uh, I'll probably do another video explaining what that is and how that whole process works. Trust me, though, it's not fun and it's more expensive than just registering it normally would be. The signature and the name have to match or you're not going to be able to register it and it's it's a giant disaster huge hassle it's not fun to go to the bonded title route um wow um anyway definitely definitely watch out for that the only way to really avoid this is to make sure you get your driver's license uh their driver's license i guess and make sure that it matches the name on the other side of this title and another reason why it's going to be terrible for you if the name of the front of the title and the signature of seller don't match is because you also need something called a form 130u when you take your title to the tax office to get it registered in your name uh and that form is going to need the name and the signature of the seller of the car so uh, if it's not the real seller of the car according to the title, you're not going to be able to get that done. As person C, have no way to contact person A, which is not going to be good if person B title jumped on you uh, because you need them for the Form 130U. You need the signature, the name, the address, and it all has to match. Same as on the title. So if you go register a car at the tax office and they tell you you're not going to be allowed to do it because you've been title jumped on, sorry, toast, um, what you're going to have to do is get a bonded title, which is not fun at all. And I'll link a video uh, in the description telling you how to do that here because um, it's a whole process in and of itself. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Watch out. Don't get title jumped on. It is a terrible experience. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye.